Welcome back everybody, Motoblade here, and today we are riding the 2019 Harley Davidson Street Glide. That sexy red denim beast over there. We're at Mountain Creek Harley Davidson in Dalton, Georgia. If you guys are in the Chattanooga area or the Dalton area, go check these guys out. My man Robbie will hook you all up. Let's ride. <laughs> So on the 2019 Street Glide, we have this beautiful new color. I think they call it a Wicked Red Denim. Such a beautiful, beautiful color. Of course, we got the traditional Batwing fairing. This year, we have the new Milwaukee 8 114s in all of the touring and bagger bikes. It's got the special blacked out uh, trim on this bike with our highway bars and the blacked out exhaust. Also new this year, we've got the new boombox infotainment system still a six and a half inch display just like before but now it's a full glass and touchscreen uh, system no more hard buttons it's all a nice touchscreen navigational and uh, entertainment display so we have music options right now it's on radio we have phone options you can connect to your phone i won't do that right now you can pair it with a headset or whatever you need to uh, to take calls inside of your helmet. And then, of course, we've got navigation. In addition to our digital display, of course, we have nice analog gauges per the usual. Got our hard shell Harley-Davidson brand color matched saddlebags. And of course, my favorite part of the entire beast, the Milwaukee 8 114 engine. This thing is badass. That color really is hot. <laughs> All right, guys, let's take her out, take her for a spin, and get this review on the road. All right, guys, we are riding the sexy new 2019 Harley-Davidson Street Glide on a very hot day here in Dalton, Georgia at Mountain Creek Harley-Davidson. The bike feels really nice right now because I just took it out of the dealership and the tank feels so nice and cool against my legs out here because it is hot as frick. So it's time to talk about this beauty of a bike, the 2019 Harley-Davidson Street Glide in the Wicked Red Denim, which I am absolutely loving this color. So good. That, I'm almost tempted to buy the bike just because of the color. Anyway, I digress. What can I tell you guys about this bike? Well, let's start off with, of course, the engine. The Milwaukee 8 has been out for a year, but it's the first time they put the Milwaukee 8 114 into these big touring bikes. What's up, dude? The Milwaukee 8 114 is a beast, and hopefully this traffic will clear up in front of me and we'll get to run it hard and uh, show you guys what the 114 can do in this bike. But the 114 is your power plant, and it is plenty of power, let me tell you that. It is fantastic. Very good, very good engine, great throttle response, very smooth, very crisp, and just a great engine. It's probably Harley's crowning achievement in my mind, I think, the Milwaukee 8 engine. So outside of the engine and the power, let's talk handling. Now, comparing this to the 2019 Harley Road Glide, the difference is, on the Road Glide, your fairing is mounted to the frame of the bike. On the Street Glide, by comparison, your fairing is mounted to the fork. So when I turn my handlebars, the entire uh, fairing moves with my fork. Some people prefer that, the visual is a little easier for them, or they just like the handling better. However, it does add weight to your steering. So your fork is going to bear the weight of the uh, fairing and all this GPS navigation and all your gauges and all that stuff. So it can add a little bit of weight to your steering. That being said, in the sense of handling, look how flickable this thing is. Super nimble, super easy to get over in the corners. It is not a problem when it comes to handling, even with the extra weight of the fairing 
uh, being mounted onto the fork. That is not an issue whatsoever. As far as lean angle is concerned, I feel like the lean angle on this, uh, we're just going on feeling. I'm not going on hard specs here. I felt like I could lean the road glide over just a hair more, but maybe I was just a bit more comfortable on that. That's always a possibility. Let's talk about looks. You guys know already I'm a huge fan of this wicked red denim color. It's just so beautiful. Uh, so as far as paint is concerned, looks are great there. We also have this beautiful new GPS uh, navigational display in front of us. It's their updated boom box this year for 2019. Got a nice full glass panel. Gone are the hard buttons that used to be here and now it's all touch. Now we're going to uh, crank the volume up a little bit here. For reference, I have the um, microphone for my camera inside of my full face helmet and the microphone is actually tucked up on my cheek almost back to my ear, about an inch away from my ear. So that should be fairly representative of the sound quality you would be getting from this system inside of a full face helmet going at about, uh, where are we doing, about 45 miles, 40 to 45 here, okay? So let's crank it up. Now, uh, that's a little bit over halfway power on the volume and I can't even hear it. So let's take it up a little bit more. Almost full power. Let's just put it. All right, there's full power on this system. Right there is full power on this audio system. And I will tell you that at full power, it's loud enough for me to hear at 40 miles an hour. But the quality is not good. So to crank it this high, I'm going to turn it down here a little bit so I don't have to yell. But to get the volume up to where I need it, at that point, the quality of the audio is gone. Um, your quality, I think, starts to go at just a little bit over half power, half volume, and uh, it is just not a good audio system. I'm going to always compare it back to the Indian Roadmaster and Indian Chieftain system. Audio quality for Indians is out of this world, the quality and the volume. Uh, it blew me away with theirs on like a quarter power, whereas on this system, it's not doing it until I get all the way up on full volume. Now that all being said, you guys can always upgrade the audio, uh, upgrade the speakers, I guess, on a Harley. There's plenty of third party and aftermarket options. So it should not detract you from buying the bike if the audio quality isn't like 100%, because you should be buying a motorcycle for the quality of the ride. So getting back to that, our power is great with the Milwaukee 8. Our handling is superb. Very nice, very flickable, great handling, no issues. Looks are great, and the new infotainment system and how all of that looks, also great. It's only the audio that is uh, a bit subpar there, I would say. What would be the next good thing for you to have on a bike? Why would you want to buy it? Well, the comfort. The comfort of this bike is fantastic. If you guys watched my video on the Road Glide, uh, the comfort, I would say, is exactly equal to that. We have good floorboards, heel-toe shifter, and a very comfortable riding position. My arms are very relaxed, very comfortable. The bike is already set up for a passenger. It has a two-up seat with a set of passenger pegs behind me that I can fold out. And the comfort of the bike itself, the seat itself, is really nice. I, I'm enjoying it quite a bit. I almost wish I had this seat on my Indian. Engine braking is very smooth, especially down in first gear, the engine braking bringing this baby to a stop. Very smooth, very, very pleasant. Doesn't grab. Everything's very well done there. We're gonna turn around this nice parking lot here. I think this is an old abandoned bank, but I usually turn around here and head back to the dealership. So I don't put too many miles on their beautiful new bikes. I hope you guys could hear the Milwaukee 8 and that beautiful exhaust note right there. That was just fantastic acceleration. 
super smooth, super loud, it sounded great. Oh dear goodness, that sounds awesome. We're gonna go back to handling just for a second here and talk about suspension. It may just be my perception. I do not know the exact specifications of which suspension is on which bike for Harley, but I have felt more of the bumps nothing uh, detrimental or nothing that would keep me from buying the bike but i have felt more bumps uh, riding this than i did when i was riding the road glide so it is a bit of a lighter machine that might be part of it uh, but the suspension on this is good i'm just comparing it to the 2019 road glide special and that thing i felt nothing the suspension was great it was like cruising in a cadillac Let's talk a little bit more about our fairing up here. We've, of course, got a uh, wind flow vent. We can open for more airflow, close for less. Honestly, that doesn't do a bit of difference when you have this crappy little windshield on here. And that is going to be my complaint about the fairing on this and the road glide, is that I'm getting so much wind over the top of this, it's like the having the fairing in front of me, what's the point? It's supposed to be able to block a lot of the wind, right? Well, it does to my chest, but that doesn't bother me as much as wind to my face and my helmet when it's jarring me and knocking me around. And the wind comes right off the top of this and whacks me right in the visor and it vibrates my helmet. So you guys, of course, if you've been around Harley, you know there is a plethora of options for these windshields. So get something, upgrade it, get something a little bit taller, um, and I think this would be absolutely perfect. You would cruise in total comfort. So we've talked engine, we've talked handling, we've talked comfort, we've talked fairing and entertainment system. What else is there, guys? It's a Harley. It's a great bike. It's a piece of American steel. It's made in America with American workers. I take pride in that with my Indian and you guys should take pride in that with Harley as well. That is a great, great thing to buy local, buy American. And I love Harley as a company and I love this motorcycle. I think it's a great deal all around. We're gonna open it up here on this nice little country road stretch and uh, see how she does. Here we go. So, you guys can see the power is great, the sound is great, it is just a fantastic, fantastic engine. That Milwaukee 8 is unlike anything else. I think we have covered just about everything, guys. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me in the comments down below. I will do my best to answer everybody who's got any questions for me on this bike or any of the new 2019 Harleys. If you guys are in the Dalton area or the Chattanooga area, come on down to Mountain Creek Harley-Davidson. These guys are awesome down here. Pleasant, pleasant, nice people to work with. Uh, probably one of my favorite dealerships I've ever been to. Just such great people to work with there. Ask for Robbie. He's my man. He will hook you guys up, help you guys get going if you want to test ride one of these new badass 2019 Harley-Davidson motorcycles. So if you guys have liked this video, please hit that thumbs up button. That's a great, great help for my channel. It lets me know that you appreciate what I'm doing and you like the content I am bringing you. If you have not already, please subscribe to the channel. That is the best thing you can do to help me grow this channel and the biggest thank you you can give right there. Subscribe and click on the bell icon next to it. That will let you guys get notifications when there is a new video ready for you to watch right here from me on Motoblade. That's going to do it, y'all. Until next time, be careful out there. Ride safe, ride on, and I will catch all of you later. Deuces!